Hi, this is uh, Keith from the Bobcat Guy. I'm going to give you an instructional video on how to change oil on an Extreme V plow by Fisher. What we did is we took it off the truck first and we blocked it to allow uh, the blade to be off the ground. The reason for this is you need to pivot the plow after you have your hoses off to allow the oil to drain completely out of all the hoses after you've drained the reservoir. So after you get it plowed, or after you get it off the ground, you can have it off the truck. You want to take this vent cap off. If you don't, when you open this plug up, it's gonna shoot oil all over the place because this is sometimes pressurized. So after you take the vent cap off, we can open this up, we put a hose on, and brought it down to a reservoir so we didn't run oil all over the place. After you do that, you also have to make sure that when you're all done and hooking, you want to make sure this ram is in the fully down position because you want to make sure there's no oil left in this ram. As you can see here, Mike uh, marked all the hoses to make sure that they go in the right spots when you put them back on. So you want to take these hoses all off. I recommend marking them or taking a picture so you know exactly where they go. After you have these hoses off, we had another bucket down here that we put the hoses in. And as you move the rams back and forth, it'll pump the oil out of the rams. After this is all done, then you just want to tighten everything back up, hoses back up, make sure the drain plugs back up. And then you'll take this off and you will fill the reservoir up to the bottom of these threads and then hook your plow back up and you should be good to go you'll have to oscillate it back and forth a few times to get it to take all the air out and it'll run brand new oil through the whole thing and this should be done yearly just like they say on the sticker here do it yearly thank you very much for watching please subscribe